What's up, YouTube? George, just Silver Hunter back, and uh, we're going to be doing a half dollar hunt today. Uh, I was able to pick up three boxes of half dollars from my local fifth third. Um, this may be a one box hunt. It may be a three box hunt. We'll see how the boxes produce. Um, if we have a lot of finds, I'll constrain this to probably just one video just to keep the, the video length down. Um, that said, I uh, did have an epic box the other day. I'll link to it right here in the upper right hand corner. We found like over 60 silver coins in there with a barber being one of the coolest finds I think I've found, had on the channel. Um, during that video, I mentioned there was a sister box. I did get that box. I went through it. I ended up throwing all the video away because I think I found like two NIFCs in the entire box. And it was a little bit of a letdown after going through and finding all that silver. So it's a new week. It's a new set of boxes. We're starting fresh. Uh, this one has 98 on it. Per the usual... I have uh, opened this box at the bank because I have been shorted rolls in the last couple of months, so they've asked that I start opening these at the bank, which I'm happy to do. Um, so with that said, we're going to get this box pushed back, we're going to get into these rolls, and hopefully the silver uh, continues to flow. So if you are new to coin roll hunting, uh, I do have a document in the description down below that has everything that I hunt for, whether it be half dollars, quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, um, you can download that document. It is free to download and print and use for yourself. It's not pretty. It's just a nice listing of what I look for. Uh, but to recap, we will be looking for silver, which 40% uh, silver is 1965 to 1970. 90% silver is 1964 and earlier. And then there's a smattering of varieties, errors, uh, not intended for circulation coins, etc., that we look for as we go through the box. And... Um, if I find any of that good stuff, I will pull you guys in and we'll get it under the scope and we'll talk about its value. If we don't find it, this will be a real short box because we'll be cutting kind of to the end, which more boxes than not lately, that's kind of how they go. We've been finding just a handful of uh, NIFCs and that's about it. So when those epic boxes come along, they're really, really nice um, because they give us something to look at. So with that said, I'm going to go off camera. I'll keep going through these rolls, and I'll bring you in when we find something interesting. So we're on roll 22. It has been a really typical hunt lately for half dollars. You know, we've got four NIFCs, a 2009, an 11. What is this? A 10. They're out of order. Sorry. And a 2020. But I did want to bring you in here because roll 22, we have a nice piece of gold here. So for those of you out there that have never seen this, they do make gold leafed or gold plated half dollars this is a actually an nifc done 2012 denver and it looks like it's actually been stickered on the back as well and most of that sticker is peeled off so typically these things come uh at you know coin shops and novelty stores and you know they can be worth 8 10 12 15 dollars something like that uh, i don't hold on to them because they really don't retain any of their value that way but uh, it's still a neat find, nonetheless. Okay, so it's been pretty uneventful in the second half of this box. We are down to our last roll. I figured I'd go ahead and do it on camera. We did find a 2021 Denver along the way. Um, outside of that, we had those same five NIFCs and the gold-leafed half dollar. Let's get into this one, see what we have, if anything. It's been a lot of marked coins. You can probably see from this one as I just kind of rotate it around. Lots of lots of three marks. I've seen that for years and years here in the Atlanta area. Most of the rolls I get have at least some of those markings. And that's just from people marking their coins so they know I've looked at this roll. And if I get it back, I don't need to look at it again. Now, as a coin roll hunter, it depends on what you're looking for. A lot of people that mark those edges are just edge hunting for silver. So you still want to make sure that you give a look if you're looking for errors or varieties. So with that said, I'm going to toss these guys back. I'll hang on to the gold one. I hang on to all the gold ones, even though I said there's not a lot of value there. I just like hanging on to them. I've got one here in a bin. I actually think I've got two or three of them there in the bin. But uh, those I do hang on to. The rest will go back. So I'm going to get into box number two. Give me a second. We'll get cleaned up, get box number two, and jump right in. Okay, here we are with box number two. As usual, I've already opened it. I've gone through the top and bottom racks just to see if we had any enders, and we did not. So like box one, we're going to go ahead and jump right in and see what we find. I'll go ahead and do at least open roll number one here on camera. We'll just check edges together while I'm here and see if we get lucky. 
and no. And as you can see, I already see a couple of coins. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but we got a couple of coins with the three ink marks there. So uh, we may have a bunch of more marked coins to go through. Well, like box number one, this one's been a little bit of a letdown. Uh, we did find a 2007 NIFC and a 2021 Philadelphia, which I'm not even sure we're calling these NIFCs anymore because there were so many of these out in the wild. But uh, that's what this box has produced so far. This is roll 50. Figured maybe we would do it together. Hopefully get a little last roll of luck and find something interesting. We haven't had as many marked coins. Like the first half of the box had a bunch of marked coins. The second half has been less marked stuff, but just nothing really interesting. Lots of 71 uh, Ds that I've checked for the um, for the DDO, but nothing in there. It's been just a really slow box. None of the no FGs have panned out. We've looked at a lot of those. Uh, but all in all, it's just been two really, really slow boxes. So I am going to go ahead and get into that third box and then probably wrap it up because I don't have any other half dollars on order until next week. So uh, let me get that third box. Let's jump into it. So here we are with box number three. Hopefully it's a little better than the last two boxes. Uh, I do remember I, I, I did actually on all three boxes do the coin roll on the top roll and I, you know, I checked for enders. Uh, I do have an NIFC here. It looks like a 2018. I've got a shiny uh, but nothing really jumped out at me outside of those couple of things. So we're going to get these pushed back and we're going to get into them. And as usual, let's go ahead and do the first roll together in case there is a little first roll silver luck. And it doesn't look like it. Looks like we have a little bit more marked coins. Got marked here and marked here and marked here. And as I roll them, you can probably see that, how many of these are marked on the edges. Oh, well, we will go through rolls off camera till we find something interesting. Doing a little half box check in here, and it is not looking pretty. We have two lonely NIFCs to speak for the first half of this third box. 2017 what was out of Philly and a 2018 Denver. And both of them look like they got a little ring of death on them, so... Hopefully, in this third box, we get a little love in the bottom rack. We're into roll 39, and we will take the excitement where we can get it, especially in boxes like these. Looks like we have another gold coin. Let's check it out what year. Last one was a 2012, and today we get a Bicentennial. This one's not stickered, though. Again, not worth anything, but they're kind of neat to find. You get excited when you open that roll and you see something shiny in there, but it's just gold leafed, or maybe even somebody took a paintbrush to it. But uh, anyway, had to show you guys something because these rolls have just been stinky. All right, like the last boxes, we got to the end way too quickly. Not near enough finds, but we do have one roll left that we're going to wrap up with here. We'll check to see if we have anything interesting together, and we do not. Just a bunch of more marked coins. So this is unfortunate, because it's all the half dollars I have. It's not the hunt I wanted to give you guys, but I can only show you what the boxes produce. So uh, if you are a coin roll hunter, and this is something you're doing all the time, just understand, or maybe you're just getting started, understand that this is the more typical outcome of a hunt. I do believe with where the economy is right now, I think where people are struggling to, to pay some of their bills and the cost of food's going up, I do think we're going to see a lot more silver hitting the, uh, hitting the bank system just simply because people will be trading in the coins they have. Uh, collections will get, get dumped because people won't know what they have, and that's unfortunate, so we shouldn't be smiling about people's misfortune. But the reality is I do think over the coming months we're going to start seeing more and more silver hit those bank wrapped rolls and those customer wrapped rolls. So keep hunting if you are, because the silver is out there. If anything, my last big hunt will show you that. So just to wrap up this box, we did end up with a 2007, a 2017, a 2018, and a 2021. Um, some people argue the 18 and the 21 aren't NIFCs. Uh, I think the 18 is, the 21 I would say is not. And of course we have our second gold coin 
uh, of the of the hunt. So I think of all that, I'm th- I'm keeping the two gold coins. So out of fifteen hundred dollars, I'm keeping about a dollar. So with that said, uh, apologies again. It's not the best hunt I've done, but it is what the boxes gave me. I am going to continue to get boxes uh, from the bank next week. I think I've upped my order, and I think I know I've upped my order with fifth third, so I should be getting at least three or four boxes every week instead of the two I was getting. Still not a lot of luck with Wells Fargo. Um, they're, they're still having a hard time getting halves, and they've been really short on nickels, dimes, and pennies. And uh, I was able to pick up a box of quarters today, so I'll be hunting those a little bit later and posting another video on that hunt. So with that said, uh, if you're new to the channel, not my best hunt, but it is what it is. Uh, If you would like to keep up with all the hunts I do, please check out my channel. I've got tons of playlists, tons of hunts that I've done in the past. Um, And if you want to catch my future videos, make sure you click on that subscribe button and then click on that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. Um, What else can I tell you? Uh, happy 4th of July. Uh, I'll get this out before the 4th. So if I don't, if I don't see you before then, happy 4th, set off some fireworks, be safe, be around your family and friends, enjoy the time off. Uh, with that said, you guys take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.